Cougars on the opposite end got off to an 0-2 start in the WCC, and they have since won four straight conference games and five straight overall. We are jumping center right now with Becky Obima and Emma Calvert, and the first possession goes to Pepperdine from left to right in the orange, white, and blue. BYU in the road black with blue and white letters and numbers in this 29th renewal between the Waves and the Cougars. A series dominated by BYU 24-4, but it is Jane Waba who gets the first say here today. A nice usage of the backboard in uh, Pepperdine strikes first two to nothing. Starting lineup for the Waves, Jane Waba up front with Meili Iamosa and Becky Obima, backcourt of Marley Walls and Helena Friend. Same starting five as Thursday night against San Diego. Traveling violation for BYU, and the Waves will get it back. As for Brigham Young University, a backcourt of Nani Falatea, Ariel Mackey-Williams, and Kaylee Smiler. And then up front, you got Lauren Gustin and Emma Calvert. Gustin leading the group, 16 points, 16 rebounds per contest, five games of 20 plus rebounds a game that leads the entire country. Excellent uh, player down low, and here she is. Gustin trying to get around Obima, that would be, we knew that's gonna be a big matchup today. Gustin misses her first shot. Walls underneath to Obima, put it up and in. Becky Obima, someone who has to have a big game today. The Waves once again, basically for the fourth straight game, minus their top two scores. That would be Ali Stedman and Teresa Grayson Banifo. Four to nothing Pepperdine. We have played nearly 90 seconds. Driving Smiler off the window and in. BYU is on the board. BYU has reached the WCC Tournament Finals in each of the last two years. Great footwork and the finish for Jane Waba. 6-2 Pepperdine. Two minutes in. And Emma Calvert throws it in over a couple of waves. She's on the board and the waves are up two. And I gotta watch out for number 12. Can you imagine 16 double-doubles out of the 17 Cougar games this year? She was an All-American, Gustin was, two years ago. Oh, there's Molly Walls down the left side. She throws it in underneath, and it's 8-4. to four. Gustin's third board, and underneath, all by herself, is Bubakar in for the first time. Now Rose Bubakar, six-foot sophomore forward from Frederick, Maryland. Straight away, Walls, about an 18-footer. She knocks that one down. Marley Walls has four. And the Waves lead it. Still 14 to shoot. Palatea gives it up. Justin around the perimeter. It goes to Smiler, driving through the lane and beats everybody to the hole. Behind the free throw line, get it to Waba. Put on the brakes there, seven to shoot. Walking violation on Oda Bumi. And actually ended up plus one on Thursday night after a, such a miserable third quarter. Right side three by Bubakar, and that is in there. And BYU is on top, 11 to 10. First lead change. Bubakar with five, runner off balance, Walls gets her own ball back. Looking for somebody, pops it out to Jane Waba. Waba over Bubakar, it rattles in there. Jane Waba having a great first quarter. Six points, she's made all three of her shots. Waves have not been to the foul line yet and have gotten a couple of inside shots but have also turned it over, there's a three pointer. That is in there for Smiler. Second three for BYU, and they go back up by two. Waves should play for one shot. 14 seconds. Driving left side underneath, blocked from behind by Smiler with Waba going up. Kaylee Smiler, the junior out of Hamilton, New Zealand. And as now BYU will get the last shot, a six. Perhaps Waba going too early that time. Off balance there, and Waba returns the favor on the other end. 
and then got back on the other end. And that'll do it. Calvert, her shot would have counted there in the key as the first quarter comes to an end. Jane Waba made three shots for six points in the uh, first quarter. Seven points, a game high for Kaylee Smiler for BYU, half of their total. Odabumi travels left baseline, and that's going to be five turnovers now on Pep. BYU right now, when you look at points off turnovers, it is six to nothing for the Cougars. That was a real problem statistic for the Waves on Thursday night. Here's Smiler, lob it out to the right. Driving, a runner is in there for Amanda Barcelo. In for the first time, 5'11 freshman guard out of Chandler, Arizona. You take, you'll take a quarter plus of this from the Waves any day. Obima underneath, no good. And I think you're going to have a lot of good things happen the rest of the season if you get the first 12 or so minutes. You get more of these uh, 12 minutes the rest of the way. The Waves have shown so far today. Very good BYU team sitting in third place behind Gonzaga and Portland who meet tonight in Portland. Five to shoot for the Cougars underneath, and that is good for Gustin. Caused some distraction, and Obima gets at the walls, a long two. She pulls up, that's too long. Gustin will track it down. BYU's biggest lead of six. Ball is lobbed in, Calvert up. No, gets her own rebound, no, and fouled. First free throw is good. Goes to the high post, get it back to Amosa and turn back to Friend. Dribbles to her left. Eight to shoot. There goes Waba down the right side of the lane. Blocked, but maybe too much contact. Jane Waba, first foul shot of the day. Now the Waves were certainly good at the line on a Thursday night, game in which they never led. Going 13 of 15 as Waba splits the two and Barcelo comes up with it. Palatea front court, get it to Mackie Williams, dump it into Calvert, that's good. Over Obima, that ups BYU's lead. Who is going to pick up the scoring for the Waves? In the absence of the team's top two scorers, minus Ali Stedman and minus Teresa Grayson Banifo. That duo collectively, collectively giving you 29 a game this year. Nice footwork, Obima, but no finish. Held ball underneath between Waba and Gustin. BYU will get it back. Waves get into double figures or whatnot. It's just not consistent enough. Only had two three-pointers on Thursday night. Don't have any today. Missing some shots. Underneath shooting 28%, the Waves are in this game. Lauren Gustin looking for the three point opportunity. It's Gustin's second basket only. They're doing a nice job on her, although she does have 10 rebounds. Free throw no good. Gustin is 0 for 3 at the line. KK Brody comes up with it. But, uh, Scoring, clearly a problem. Had just 32 points after three quarters Thursday night. Now down 24 to 13. And there's 340 left before halftime. We'll talk to Brian Rosario at the break. Game number six for him as acting head coach. Long two, Bubakar nails it. 26 to 13. Seven for Bubakar off the bench. Marley Walls. This is what BYU can do. They, again, they just gave up two points in the first quarter on Thursday night to LMU. That's off the mark. A three-pointer missed by Friend. Friend hit a basically a buzzer-beating three, which the game was already decided to end the Thursday night contest. Seven for Jane Waba to lead Pepperdine. Seven out of the 13. Meili Amosa, 
High post, dump it into Brody, trying to get around Calvert, and will do so and score underneath. This game last year was actually canceled. BYU did not make the trip here. Brody, a block shot underneath. That's her fifth block shot of the week. Underneath, Waba. Just out of the key, and she sinks one there. Jane Waba's got nine of Pepperdine's 17. 45 seconds to play in the half. Baseline, kick out. Smiler stopped at the block. Gustin get it to the corner. Three-pointer is short. Gustin, a rebound, up with it. Good. Got it right behind both Brody and Friend. 30-17. to 17. Waves should play for one shot here. Gustin's got 12 rebounds. That right there was actually her 13th rebound of the game. On pace, the breaker career high. Three-pointer, Amosa got it. Two seconds to go, so at the least. Wow, that shot of about, what, 65 feet hit the side of the backboard. But the Waves do bring it to within 10, and I kind of wonder if they're going to look at that last. Waves are 35% shooting and being out-rebounded by seven. As we start the third quarter, Waves right to left in the second half. Here's Marley Walls. Starters back on the floor. I sh yeah, four of them anyway. Drea Brunfield's getting a start in the second half instead of Helena Friend. Obima retrieves that. Nine to shoot. Amosa in the corner. Hit a late three in the first half. Labo inbound. Reset the shot clock to 20. Brunfield in the corner. Get a baseline. Kick out. Out to the left side for Marley Walls. Defended by Mackie Williams. Good feed all the way around Calvert, but not able to finish. Becky Obima. Those are the ones that have to go. Obima now one of six from the floor. Falatea. Long three. Got it. Now Falatea, tough shooting first half of her own, one of eight, but she drills that one, her first three of the game, BYU's third of the game, and the Cougars' biggest lead of 13. Top of the circle, three-pointer, Amosa has got her second triple. With it left, the seven to shoot. Ball is kicked out up top. Driving underneath roll. Falatea's got it. And the Waves sorely missing their top two scorers, Allie Stedman and Teresa Grayson Banifo. Missing Stedman's defense and three point shooting. Missing and Banifo's work underneath the hoop. Obima scores there underneath 35 25. Matthew Williams. Calvert. Lob it to Gustin. On the interior, goes to the corner. Get it to Smiler. Smiler changed direction underneath, no good. Obima, a rebounding opportunity. Goes to the wayside instead, a baseline jumper. Doesn't do you any good if you can't put the ball in the hoop. And again, the Waves struggling to score. Had 32 points after three quarters on Thursday night. Sitting with 25 right now, almost half of the third quarter gone. Underneath, Amosa scores. Her and Waba collectively 17 out of Pepperdine's 27. There's a long two, and that goes for Mackie Williams. Inbound to Walls at the baseline. Pulls it back out. Lob it into Brody. Behind the mid post, Brody. Big left turn right over Calvert and gets it to go. She can definitely hit those, as we saw when she came in Thursday. KK Brody. Waves are only down 10. This is certainly nothing to be ashamed of. Got an opportunity. You got 14 plus minutes left in this basketball game. Barcella with five. Up top, Mackie Williams a three, fires a three, and throws it in off the window. It was right around this time on Thursday night that BYU is up by 32 down at LMU. It's a 13-point game now. 
And a turnover on the inbounds pass taken away by Mackie Williams. From behind, Walls trying to steal it. Pokes it away, and Waba grabs it. Going the other way, throw it up and in. Marley Walls causing the turnover. Get it back to a 10-point difference right now. Can Waba do so? She does. Cougars falling to Gonzaga in the championship game each of the last two years out in Las Vegas. Couple of bounces. No good for Mackie Williams there. Just her third shot attempt of the game. Waves can get it down to single digits. 3.20 to go in the third. Elena Friend. Marley Walls. Swing it right side to Jane Waba. Back to Walls. Thought about the three. Thought better of it. KK Brody at the block. Whistle. A foul from behind on Lauren Gustin. Brody going to the foul line. First foul shot of the day. Waves are 70% now as a team. They've done very well of late at the line. Brody splits the two. Rebound off the of Smiler. The Waves are within single digits here. Smiler goes to her left. Now to her right. Working shot clock. Calvert. Get it off to Mackie Williams, off to Gustin. Gustin driving on Brody. Now Wab with the help defense. Gets a little bit of separation and throws it up. Waves plus one over BYU in the third so far. Odabumi straight away. That's good. About a 19-footer, Rosemary Odabumi. Got 14 to shoot. Mackie Williams, a running floater, no good. Odabumi comes up with the rebound. The outlet to Waba. Get it to Marley Walls. Deficit is nine. And get things even closer right now. Under, uh, boy, I don't know what that was. Was that supposed to be a pass or a shot? I don't know. Falatea, three-pointer. Terrible sequence there for the Waves. Oh. And an opportunity to get it to six or seven. I'm not sure if Odabumi was looking for Obima or if that was a shot that just missed badly. 16 seconds there, but instead, now it's a 12-point game. Friend for three, that's short. BYU will get another opportunity. Under 10, Falate in the front court. Looking for another three, that's good again. Well, you talk about a disastrous last 30 seconds or so of the third quarter. Going in a very positive direction there for a while for Pepper. Instead, BYU matches its biggest lead of 15. 50 to 35, Waves have it. Right side, up top, Friend, reverse it left to Marley Walls. Becky Obima, whistle blows away from the ball. What happened, he just called it a straight turnover, so no shot for Odobumi. Falatea comes down and hits a three. If that wasn't bad enough, BYU comes up with it, and Falatea hits another three, her 26th of the year, and her 13th point of the game. So instead of going into the fourth down by no worse than nine, a 15-point ball game. Walls through the lane, throws it up, about a four-footer, misses wide. And BYU back the other way. They look to take their biggest lead right now, matching their biggest lead of 15, almost a minute gone on the fourth. Right side, Mackey Williams, Calvert, fake left, turn right over Abima, almost an and one. Otherwise, you'd be just about right there. Single digits instead. Now a 16-point game. Calvert's got seven. Falatea with 13. And there's 20 of Pepperdine's 35 right there. Bad pass. Easily picked off. Falatea and Friend getting back on defense. And Falatea will shoot a pair. Looking for 14th and 15th of the game. Her first foul shot today is no good. BYU 4 of 8 at the line. Hand it off to Walls. Cross over to Walls. Drop it off. Obina lose handle. And a fight for it. Waba retrieves it. Although she does roll around a little bit too much on the floor and travels in the process. It goes back to BYU. Barcelo get it to Smiler. Top of the circle it goes. Gustin, dangerous pass. Waba pokes it away. Gustin retrieves it. 
Still have 12, BYU does. Balatea driving over Obima, floats it in there. 20 point ball game. BYU with numbers on defense. Walls kick out. A little too rush there. The Waves will get away with it as Friend retrieves it. Back in the zone defense. Ball lobbed in. Obima has it poked away, gets it back. Dangerous pass. Brunfield's going to have it taken away. Cougars two on one. Falatea to Gustin. Blocked by Friend. Gustin gets it back and scores on the second effort. 57 to 35. BYU ups its biggest lead of the day. Walls, left side, Brunfield, left baseline. Help defense coming over against uh, Mailey and Mosa. Three-pointer friend, it's a swish. Elena Friend's first basket. Third triple of the day for Pep. Missing the three-point queen, of course, and Allie Stedman. Missing other things from Allie as well. And Mosa, kick out, friend. Looking for another three, got that one. Back-to-back three-pointers, Elena Friend. BYU will work some clock here as we go to the halfway point of the fourth. Friend defending out on the perimeter, Bubakar back on. She's got uh, three fouls. Right side with five underneath, kick outs. Mackie Williams, free throw line extended, no good. Gets her own rebound, splits three defenders, gonna be fouled from behind. Ariel Mackie Williams, looking for her sixth and seventh points, by the way. Lauren Gustin has since officially recorded her 17th double-double of the year in the 18 games and her 46th in her career. She is one rebound away from her sixth 20 rebound game of the year to lead the entire country. Gonna start launching them pretty quick if there's any hope. That, uh, this is an 18 point deficit, nearly four minutes to go. Friend looking for another three, that one's short. Brody gets the rebound, back out to Friend, she sinks it. <laughs> 59 43. Matthew Williams. That's an NBA three right there. Is going to fall short for Falatea. Walls comes up with it with three and a half to go. Waves can make it a 13 or 14 point game right now. Crossover Walls. And a foul from behind on Gustin. Baseline left. Jane Waba inbound. Friend pulls up. No, but foul. Bailed out there by Calvert. I don't think Helena is going to make that one at all. Free throw by Friend is good. Got outplayed in the fourth. And BYU plus four on the glass. Not bad for the Waves considering got to go up against Lauren Gustin. Friend, Obima. Three-pointer, Waba, she can hit those. Almost did there, in and out. Friend offensive rebound laid up and in by Falatea. Mosa defending and running it up. Smiler's got it. Smiler, drop it off to Gustin. Wasn't on the bench for very long. Baseline right, and that is good for Calvert. Calvert, third Cougar into double digits. It's 61-47, you got 1.35 to go. BYU will zone it up again. Mosa underneath. Waba for three. Good. So here you have Pepperdine getting quite a few threes late in the game while they are trying to climb this mountain. In terms of the scoreboard, 16 points less than their season average in scoring. They finished with 51 points on Thursday. They're at 50 right now with just over a minute to play. And I still think you know, one of the more frustrating stats. And, you know, it's a little bit misleading now. The Waves are 7 of 11 today at the line, but remember, they were just 1 of 2 in the first half. Three-pointer straight away, no good. Dry spell in the second quarter without a basket. That was the first issue, and then just the awful end of the third quarter. Left wing with 40 seconds to go. BYU still up double digits. Neither team in any hurry to do much here with four to shoot.
Calvert left corner for three. That is going to be missed by uh, Smiler off Calvert's pass at the follow-up. He's in there, 63 to 50. Shot clock is gone for the day. Molly Walls in the front court. Drop it off for Helena Friend, looking for another triple. That is short. Amosa rebound up with it and in there. 63-52. No need to foul with nine seconds to go. Smiler front court. That's all she had to do. And BYU, Smiler in the key. Not going to shoot it. That is it. BYU wins it by 11. 63-52. We'll be right back to wrap this one up on the WCC Network.